Okay. That was long enough. I'm trying to see. Playing live stream and showing up for some reason on my phone. Let me hop out here real quick and just check. Shows we're live streaming. But for some reason, I, I don't see it on the phone right now. That's the really weird part. Oh, here we go. Live stream has been enabled. All right. That's cool. So, everybody, welcome back. We're back to our little uh, cargo vehicle build, where I'm build, rebuilding the... Uh, what was it? Rebuilding the healer? Building a Mark II variant of it. And uh, this is what we got. The unpainted variation I may look into. I'd like to add more to it, but looking at it now, it seems to have everything it needs. Let me turn this thing off real quick. Because, good lord. Okay. Oh, I haven't even set this thing up yet. Let's go ahead and do some setup, shall we? Uh, okay, we don't have the group set up yet. Let's go ahead. We're going to have to do that eventually. Let's just shut this thing off for a second. Get it to quit. Making so much noise. Turn off the groups. All right. Call that the power power plab yeah how the hell did that happen anyway analyze that uh, we'll go to the magnetic plates here and set all those to Strength sounds too bad. Too bad. Oh, hey, look, we got three people coming in now. Awesome. Uh, yeah, we're just basically working on the healer right now. Those of y'all that are wondering, yeah, it took a few minutes because I was trying to get everything set up and give y'all time to get in. I, last time I did that and everyone got in a okay. Uh, gonna add some modifications to this thing, I think. Uh, something. That'll make it easier to transport this SOB and get it around there and get it some places. So, hopefully, yeah, that'll, that'll be really good. Ah, okay. We'll just set this to bed liner. Is that how that's spelled? Bed leaner? Liner? I think that's right. We'll go with it. Um, let's see. All wheels. We need those in our group so yeah my spelling is horrible let's go with this I'm trying to be too I'm trying to be too good and then we need to set all these in their own Basically, right now, just putting everything in their own groups. Right, we got remote control, batteries. Well, yeah, let's put those in their own. Save that one. We also need these hydrogen tanks. That's done, that's done, that's done. Uh, anything else that needs to be put into a group? There's not a whole lot else that's, that needs a group on this. Considering I built this thing just so it will... Uh, okay, I 
think that'll be everything. Now, another thing that I've got a problem with here is the way the undercarriage is set up. I really like what we did here with the suspending thing, but I came up with an idea the other night for putting this thing inside of a ship and transporting it via a mag locking system. And I kind of want to do that. Which is going to require me to test out the piston system on this. Okay, set that up. Let me see here. I can do this. <laughs> oh boy <laughs> where is that other piston at on here oh boy why how do i have two pistons on this thing so i'm trying to figure out where's that other piston at i have one here where is the other okay there it is there it is there it is, there it is. Oh, shit. <laughs> i can i can i can accidentally turn that one on and and not uh Control panel. Let's try this one. Nope, that's not it. Or is it this one? Okay, wonderful. So, the thing I'm wanting to do here is I want to add an extra point coming down. So, on this vehicle, I, I've, I've come up with this really cool idea to slap a landing gear, like a flat magnetic plate landing gear on the bottom and then drop this thing so the suspension comes down and then I can hit the mag plates and I can lock it into a ship. And I think this is an upgrade I'm going to add to a couple other vehicles while I'm at it. Fortunately, fortunately, I don't think I will lose anything. Please don't fall off. Please don't fall off. Please don't fall off. Yay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it didn't fall. Okay. We're doing good here. All right, folks. We're going to set that right there. Beef up this suspension just a bit more than what it was before. Number eight. Oh, won't stick? What? Why? Oh, I bet I gotta, I bet I gotta put something in there. Okay, let's see what we're doing. Test that out. Put that in. Whoop, how'd I do that? what this will do is when I push the vehicle down these wheels here the three by threes will actually push up into the vehicle pulling the whole thing down letting it rest on the magnetic plates I can then hit the magnetic plates power the whole thing down and it basically just stick there so I mean uh, pretty pretty cool option right here with this I need here. Seven. I need one. I need one. I need seven. I'll do that. Two. Whoa, wait a minute. No. No. That's not where we need that to be. Uh, go back to seven here. Do that. Two. Seven. So for those that are that are just joining, what's happening here is uh, we're still working on, I'm still working on the healer. I'm still doing, like, stuff to it. 
Okay, we're going to have to fly this one. And I'm adding a series of mag plates to the bottom of it right now. It's just an, an idea I came up with in the middle of the night. I was sitting there thinking, you know, instead of having like a giant, like this is good if you're moving like actual pieces of something with a conveyor or something like that. I'm just sitting down like random pieces of, like if, you, if you've got a, a salvaging vehicle that's, you're cutting stuff off and you want to cut everything off, you want to transport it, you can just grab stuff and start throwing it in the back and just throw containers in there. Make it all work. But this will enable me to take several of these where I want to go when I build them up. I need to bring the healer out, the, not, not the healer, the bobcat out here as well and do the same thing to it. So what we're going to do right now is I'm going to yoink that piston off there. And we're going to slap something in the front here. Like so. And I'm going to activate said piston. Voice really low. Hold up now. Let me let me see if I can fix that. Let me see if I can fix that. How's that? <clears throat> well, wow, it's a little high. Okay, that might be a little better. All right. <laughs> so, uh, like I said, what I'm doing right now is we're just doing this magnetic locking system that I've come up with where I can just take a vehicle put it in a ship or something like that a lot better good 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 that's what I want to hear I want I want you guys to be able to hear me I would suck if you guys can hear the melodious sound of my voice serenading you this afternoon Okay. Now, the way this will work is I should be able to access this vehicle, lower its suspension to the ground, mag lock it to the floor, and then it is landing here locked to whatever drop ship or something I'm going to do. I am going to build a drop ship at some point, a rather big one, that can house all these bigger vehicles and stuff, these, these small uh, cargo vehicles and stuff like that that'll move around. Also need to add a few more lights to this thing. I need some reverse lights. Dang, I didn't know I didn't have those. May rip these out here. Can I put something there? Yeah, I can put some here. I'm going to put something right there. And then might move that one deal in the back over. And just turn that one section to a long toolbox you can add, you can access from either side. But yeah, yeah, <clears throat> that's what we're dealing with. Hold on now, let me modify the time of day here with my godlike powers. There we go. That'll give us plenty of time to for everything to you know brighten all up and all that nonsense. So yeah, this is the Healer Mark II, or uh, the Healer II is what I'm going to call it. It's an eight by eight wheeled general purpose cargo transport and it has been set up in such a way to where if I want I can just rip the whole bed out and just start adding different things in here so I mean it's going to be difficult because of this mag plating that's in the way but ultimately you should be able to just drop like a cargo container or something like that from a forklift onto this and just push a few of them up in it hit the mag lev system and the mag plates will engage locking it down and then this thing can just transport whatever these were salvage missions things like that and y'all watched me build this in the last live stream been a while since i've done a live stream i know i know i know but i am back and we're gonna try and get this thing there also another thing once i get this thing built i have to paint it at some point in time today so that's another thing uh the plan is to get this particular model done and get everything implemented that I want to implement. Take off the parking brake here real quick. 
Oh wait, we are having power issues, aren't we? Yeah, so the batteries are not there to keep the truck going. The batteries are on this thing to jump start, or at least give you enough power to jump start the sucker when you need to get it from point A to point B. Clearly it doesn't have enough power. Because this thing runs entirely on hydrogen gas. Which is one of the easier things to get your hands on in the game. So that's a good thing. So let's let's go ahead and throw some uh, groups in here. Uh, we've got our batteries. Let's go ahead and put those on a charge capacity. Actually, let's not mess with those yet. Let's go to all blocks here. <clears throat> I want to see which 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 connector this is. Okay. All right. That's the right connector. So that's good. And then uh, we'll grab small connector number two. And I'll put it to switch lock. And this one will also set it to switch lock. So that sets all that problems up. Um, ba -ba 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 What else do I want to be able to turn off and on on this? Um, <clears throat> let's go to groups. We need to access the power plant at any point in time. Turn block on and off. Uh, need to be able to turn the lights on and off. Got the wheels here. There's a, a method I'm going to use for those with the new magnetic plates that we got involved. I've got to figure those things out uh, here pretty quick. Let's see. Um, the ba -ba 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 -ba. We're going to throw this on. And stockpile that's what I need and then batteries recharge on and off and that's most of our stuff we just need to get the bed liner to lock down like we want to uh, switch lock and then the next part of this is for the wheels so right now we're gonna do this and where is the ride height? All right. Uh, first, we're going to decrease ride height, and then we're also going to do increase ride height, if I can find that. What the frick? Okay, there we go. Now let's see how that works. Now, if you look at this, you can see <clears throat> it's low enough to the ground. The magnetic plates can actually lock in now. Except the ones in the back. I don't understand why those in the back aren't working. Uh, probably because we got more weight up front. I may have to add something to it to bring the weight down a bit more. It may just be the way the wheels work. I may be able to get away with like two of these. Anyway, let's hop in here. And let's see if I can find... Uh, okay, bed liner, mag plates. Tell me these are like... Oh, heck yeah. It's one of the first times that's ever happened. Okay, um... What am I going to put that as? Floor lock, I guess? Alright, so we got two of them. Uh, click G, all blocks. Actually, no, let's go to groups. Bed liner, floor lock, right here. And switch lock. We're also going to go back one. Okay, yeah, I've already got all that set up. So then, press number three. This thing locks in. I'm just going to barely nudge it. 
with the Bobcat here. Yeah, I didn't go nowhere. So, that's good. So, yeah. <clears throat> this thing now locks into place where it's at. Uh, it's an upgrade I'm going to add to the healer. So, then you unlock. And then increase the ride height. Wait a minute. That may be what the problem is. I'm only increasing the ride height of two wheels. What? Wait a minute. But I have all the wheels. Oh, this is creating issues. Oh, well, we may not be able to do this. Hmm, that's interesting. Okay. So, that ain't going to be doable. We have a problem here. I wonder if... Let me try something here. That's the problem. Okay, so I need to go back into the bed liner. And I need to turn off auto locking. That's that's the problem there. Okay, that was the problem. So it wasn't it wasn't a power issue. Let's go ahead and turn that engine back off. See, this, this is why it's called Space Engineers, folks. <laughs> this is why we call it Space Engineers. Because you got to engineer problems. you gotta, you got to find your way around some of this stuff. I mean, some of this stuff, man, you just end up in some very weird situations right here. So, yeah. So, the maglock system appears to be working. Let's try this one more time. All right, no. Okay, everything's locked down. This thing is not going anywhere. So now it's locked in place. You hit the button. Go back up to max ride height, and she's ready to go. Like I said, a pretty interesting way of stowing vehicles. So now I got this stowed. I've got to add this upgrade to the... I'm, I'm going to put it on every single upgrade. So if you guys like it, just... Y'all can have fun with it. I think I've got everything figured out for this. Considering what all will have to happen. What is that? Oh, I, I kept the engine on that other vehicle back there. I am going to build a bigger vehicle that will be like a cargo transport kind of deal. Hey, we have five people watching right now. Awesome. Two more. That, that means two more have showed up. Awesome. Glad to have y'all here. So, yeah, uh, I've got this pretty well built here. What I've got to do now is paint this SOB. And that's going to be the fun part. All right. So, let's go ahead and paint it. Normally, I prefer the nice, clean armor. What would happen if I did this? Let's just see what this looks like for once. Oh, that looks interesting. Turn that off for a second. That looks really good. Oh, I scared off the other two people. <laughs> it's okay, guys. It's okay. So I want, I want some good looks on this thing, but I'm trying to figure out. Let's see. Well, 
Let's try some retro future armor on this. We'll do a much smaller block this time around. See what it looks like. Okay, so we got like a shiny... Ah, fell off. That's a wee bit too shiny in my opinion. It's nice, but it's way too shiny. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to... And I might modify some of this stuff in front. So we do have the lights in front here. I'd love we'll be able to take those off and put something else in there. Add just a little bit more flavor to the whole thing. Let's grab the clean armor here. We'll do that. Okay, we'll start with clean armor gray. Kind of like the healer and the uh, bobcat. Bobcat has more of a white to it, which I need to fix at some point in time. But and eh, win some, you lose some. Now. The next part in here is I want to pull some black. And that is pretty much the primary on my crew, or as I like to call it, my faction. Gives a nice little stripe going across there. And we'll do that. Yeah, we'll do that there. No, that's not what that's not what I want to do either. There, that's what I want to get. Right under there. Now let's get my color palette already figured out. Mistakes are pretty easy. We don't make mistakes. We have happy accidents as Bob Ross used to say. With it being that shiny reminds me of one of those metal puzzles you can get. And Mora? I believe that's how they say I believe that's how that's pronounced. But yeah, it it does. It does. I really should really that would be a perfect shiny metal to put to put a um What am I thinking here? It'd be a perfect metal to Where's my black? It'd be a perfect metal to do something like odd in Space Engineers. Like, you know, you've got those sci-fis with the weird puzzle thing in the background. That would be perfect for that. We're just going to go all the way across here. Hit that there. And then do that there. There we go. We'll leave the middle because I'll probably put that as yellow because that's kind of how this thing goes down. Pronounce the name right. Awesome, Imora. Okay, that's cool. Last thing I want to do is mispronounce a name. Because then every, everybody is confused at that point. <laughs> we're all we're all be confused. What is this person's name? Uh, I don't know. Badger fucked it up. <laughs> okay, uh, we'll go across here. that one and hit these up here and I'm probably going to silver the tops and yellow the engines at some point no I haven't tried the spray paint mod I've, I've heard some good stuff about it but I've just never had the time to sit down and pull with it. I'm not even going to worry about that middle part there because that's going to be probably yellow in a minute anyway. Along with this and then the... Good lord, I've got to fix that. Okay, we're going to back you up, big boy, just a little bit. Turn off the park... Uh, turn off the parking brake. Back, yep, and there we go. Maybe I will not fall off. So I'm probably going to silver the inside. I know we're going to black the top of this here. Just black all this in. Yeah, this thing turned out way better than I anticipated it would be. I was sitting there thinking, man, this is going to look really weird. If I can, I'm going to go to and try to build another build today. 
Uh, probably not something small. Probably going to build something rather big. I'm going to silver those stacks, actually, so they look like a, a silvered smokestack. Having some fun here with this. But yeah, I have I have heard of the spray paint mod. I may silver the bed, actually. Or no, I'll black this, too. There's no reason for that to be... Eh. Let me let me black that. There we go. Oh, this is tedious. It's easier than painting miniatures, though. Yeah, I thought about the black bed liner because. I live in a country area. There's a lot of trucks. And people, that's what they do. They usually black the bed liners or that. And Mora, I recommend it. A lot easier to paint. Plus, it allows you to get to blocks that are under your blocks with only a little showing. Comes in handy. I may have to consider that for builds. <clears throat> I may have to consider that for making builds with. Okay, so next on the list is this nice yellow. There we go. And that's just like an accenting color. Just to make some things look a little... What, what did I do there? I guess we'll yellow that too. Don't see a reason not to. Alright, drop down here. So when I do builds and I paint, normally what I do is I will do a main color a secondary color, accent color, and then there's a detail color that I use. So the detail color... is probably going to be silver. Actually, let's grab that retro future look. Oh, that's how people get those gold looks and everything. What would that look like? Oh yeah, shinify the wheels. Heck yeah, I am definitely gonna chrome some stuff on this. It, it is, it is a cargo. It's a glorified diesel engine. So, <laughs> frick, let's chrome some stuff. Yeah, that looks cool. from this top part here and there and I might chrome that as well just just to be me chrome these fuel tanks up here real nice just add a little bit more detail to it but the, the trick to all this is when you're doing uh, detail work and painting your builds. A limited palette serves way more function than an unlimited palette. Because if you're going to throw every color of the rainbow in there, eventually that, that causes problems, eventually. But yeah. Tell you the Bobcat's already done. So, I mean, I'll probably put this up on... I'll put this up on the Steam Store here pretty good. This truck reminds me of an army Hemet. That's what I was going for. Uh, Badger here, pent my ride. Yeah. <laughs> I I seen some stuff. There is there is one stuff. There is one upgrade I am wanting, and it's a magnetic. Um, it it is it is so pent my ride because the meme pent my the meme and pimping my ride is, we put a radio inside of your radio or we put a car inside of your car man there there's this one where it's like they have this uh magazine dispenser for like guns and stuff and it's magnetic it straps onto the side of your car and it's basically a pez dispenser and so you can figure out how that works you just run up there and you grab a mag out of it just 
like smack it in and go to town. So, and you can get that. It just slaps onto like a metal. That's got this neodyne magnet system on it. And like a no slip thing on the side. It's like you put a magazine inside of your magazines. <laughs> yeah, this thing is done. I'll probably save this here. And I won't do much with it. Yeah, this is this is pretty much a replacement to the old healer. So you got the original healer here, which was general cargo transport, and it has some flaws. And then we have this uh, healer here, which is much better. So I can store huge quantities of storage. I can just rip this whole bed out if I want and just slap a whole system in here and have fun with it. Or I can drop a bunch of stuff on the bed. Uh, might even build a gun truck version of this because there's enough room here to put two... You can put a turret here and maybe a turret right over here. And that would give us two good turrets to make this like a mini gun truck. Two guys. I want man turrets in the back of this thing if I do gun turrets, though. Yeah, let's just take this thing for a little spin. Because that's always fun. Alright. Turn off parking brake. Activate this. Get this baby for a slight spin. I think when I did the... Um, Yeah, this thing just does not turn that much. Let me go in here real quick. Where are my wheels? Set for steering one. Steering two. That's not steering. So those two. Not that one. That one. Not that one. Not that one. So that that and those two and I want to increase let's get it up to about 30 I know some people are thinking Badger just used the one deal Magazine Pezmans are like it. All oh, the ideas. Yeah, there's there's one company that makes a truck deal for your truck's toolbox. And all it does is the it turns the sides of your vehicle to where, like the bed of your truck, like where the yellow is back here, where I've got this, it's just the fenders on the sides. Well, actually, you can hit a button and that whole thing will lift up. And it sits, it lift up and reveal like a side toolbox on the side of it. And I'm just looking at stuff for trucks because I'm thinking about getting a Toyota Tacoma at some point in time. Because <laughs> they are pretty good vehicles. Normally I get Fords, but they're, the last couple of Fords have just not been very interesting. Let me deal with this weather here real quick. Ah, uh, admin tools. Where's the weather? Remove weather. We want a nice, clear, sunny day. I'm not ready to leave yet. All right, there we go. Cargo Transport Extraordinaire Vehicle. Check that out. And it drives pretty good, too. Looks good, drives good. Just see a couple of these things just plowing down through the area. I need to be careful while I'm driving this because I'll end up running into a tree or something. And we got our um, jack in the back. So if you need to rip that out, all sorts of good stuff. Extra wheels. So when you yank those off, and just slap on some wheels. If this thing takes like a hit or something from an RPG from some idiot. Oh, uh, yeah. So, I mean, this thing's working out pretty good. So I think what I'm going to do, since I've got that done, I'm going to exit out here. Save all changes. Because that's that's exactly how I want that thing to operate. And let's try a new game here. Where? Okay, we're going to do Empty World, Creative, No Mods, Advanced. I want an unlimited PC limit. Ah, the beauties of having a computer. All right. So we're going to start this because I got to look them. 
put something like that in a Kia Soul, go to the range, watch what the hell looks from everybody. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Like there are there are stuff where you can take the uh, the top, like just the back of the vehicle where you got your like your bed liner and everything. You can open up your bed. Will turn into a series of drawers that'll pop out. You can have a series. You can have a a, a shelf that comes out and leans down. And it's got a, like a, just a toolbox in that. And when I say toolbox, we all know we're talking. I'm talking about like a improvised armory or something. <laughs> so, but yeah. So, what am I doing here? The plan here is I wanted to build a ship for freight lining. Because one of the things that irritates me about space engineers is having a lot of is building like massive ships to do stuff and what I want. And more, yeah, I've seen those. Yeah, those are those things I've seen in things. I'm like, yes, I need this for the zombie apocalypse. Uh, need a lot of tools inside this thing. Uh, all the tools I could carry. <laughs> So the plan here, uh, at least my plan initially, is to build a ship that has a limited internal storage, but also has the ability to haul freight in space. So I want to build something that can go, I want to build something that can go onto planet, has a hyperdrive in it obviously has some kind of cough officer. This is my anti-zombie vehicle. Yes. <laughs> Thinking the same way. Actually funny story. This is a good one. And I, while I'm, while I'm working here, I'll, I'll tell this and uh, just make you guys laugh for a bit. So when I was younger, one of the things I used to do a lot was I used to hitchhike. Um, not, not like far, like I would go to a town somewhere and hitchhike from there. <laughs> anyway, I get over there to, to one town and I'm, you know, I'm, I'm getting ready to go and I hop in, it's late at night and I, I'm like 21 at the time I, I've done gone and seen my wife for the day. We, we've had, a, you know, we've been talking and everything else and she, uh, I leave her house after, you know, going over and taking her somewhere in her town. You know, we just walked around and did some stuff. Hopped into the back of a vehicle with a guy who was driving home, okay? And this just, mind you, this just gets wild. Anyway, I'm sitting there talking with this guy, and he goes, we're, we're going in. And he tells me, you know, uh, my ex-wife, you know, she kicked me out, so all my stuff is in the vehicle right now. But I'll, t I'll take you back to your town if you want. I'm like, all right. Little do I know this guy has no brakes or he's losing brakes on his vehicle. So the only way he can stop his vehicle is to throw it in reverse. I don't realize this at the time. And we go barreling on through a stoplight and he, he throws it in reverse. Well, sure enough, the police are sitting nearby watching, you know, red and blue lights come on. And I'm like, ah, oh, boy, this is this is gonna be one of those days. So he gets he gets picked up, and you know they're just they're just like mildly questioning me, mostly questioning him. And while they're questioning him, I remember specifically one of the officers looks over at him and says, uh, "Sir, talking to talking to me." He goes, uh, "We got to ask you something because it was like right, you know, 9/11 had happened and all that stuff." Like it hadn't happened right then, but it had been a while and, you know, everyone was still on high alert for terrorism and crap like that. So one of the officers goes, uh, sir, do you have any guns, knives, or explosive devices on you? I have to ask. I'm like, no, I said, I got, I got a pocket knife on me. That's about it. At the time we didn't have like open carry in the state. And so <laughs> they get to the other guy and he's like, I ask him the same question and his response is yes. Like, yes, the meme. <laughs> I look at him and the cops look at him and they go, uh, which one? He said, well, I guess all of them. And of course, this guy looked like um, the dude from the Beetle Bailey comics. If you ever seen those, he had like two teeth in his head to eat with. And that was about it. And they're asking him about this. They go, 
So you have all of them. He goes, yes, yeah, sir. He said, I got on talk, talk about like talks about Larry the Cable Guy is what he sounded like. He goes, yes, yeah, sir. I got I, I, I got all of them. I've got uh, several pocket knives, uh, three machetes, a samurai sword, a couple of pistols, about two shotguns, two AK-47s, an M16, and about six kegs of black powder in the back of the truck, <laughs> which I had been sitting on because I was riding in the bed of his vehicle. The cop goes, okay, sir. Everybody is on the road at that point. <laughs> I'm sitting there like, all I wanted to do was go home. <laughs> here I am stuck out here with this idiot. And they're they're going through, man. It it gets wild because after afterward, he's he's talking to this old boy. And they find this cigar box, which is the best part of this entire story. They find this cigar box and they start asking this guy, because he's old, okay? He's a very, very old man. And they ask him, they, they pull out this big old box. It's like, it's not like the little bitty Cuban cigar box. This is what you would send the Cuban boxes of cigars in. It's like the crate. And so they have this crate box. It's, it's pretty good size. Something like they, like, uh, you would put into like a box. Sort of like a little deal. Yeah. Oh my. <laughs> oh, HG. Yeah. <laughs> so he gets out this box, right? And this one highway patrolman goes, sir, what's in this box? And he opens it up and there's like a human skull and several bones inside of it. And at this point, we're all like, okay, this guy is so heavily loaded with weaponry. He has got to be some kind of killer or something like that. I'm going to be a witness to something. I just hope he doesn't go nuts and he goes quietly. And he said, the guy looks over and the officer says, uh, what kind of bones are these? And the guy looks at him and he goes, well, I, I guess they, uh, they're human bones is what they are. And he goes, what are you doing with human bones? He goes, well, that's my buddy. That's my buddy uh, running water. I was out searching for arrowheads one day and ran across the Indian mound and it rained real hard. And uh, it washed out this Indian mound and inside was this Indian chief had been washed out of his burial and his bones and his arrowheads. And I had picked up half of them before I saw his body. And then I, I, I felt bad about taking all of his arrowheads so I thought, you know what, uh, I'm, I'm, you're my new friend now. So I picked up his bones. I put him in a box. Somehow this joker got him to Vietnam, took him, took this box of Indian bones all over the damned globe. Okay, running water saw everything. Running water went to China. Back when we were still in good times with China, I get he, he had taken him somewhere close to China, Taiwan or something like that. Went to Japan with him, went to Europe with him, went to frickin' Africa with him. The whole time this guy is touring in the Navy in Vietnam. That running water actually was there during Vietnam, providing spiritual support to the U.S. military, apparently. <laughs> and I was sitting there, we're all just listening to this dude like, and, and, and the pops are looking at me like, do you know this guy? And I'm just looking at him like, I don't know, man. I don't, I don't, I don't have a clue. Anyway, they confiscated running water before it was over with. Well, the guy that I was running with, he said his goodbyes to running water. And, uh, yeah, that was like one of the wildest things. I don't know what happened. I think they went and found the native American tribe and handed it back. But running water had a very good afterlife. <laughs> and I was just, it's just like, you don't know. It's, it's like kind of a, a warning. You have no idea what you're getting into when you hitchhike. And that was about the last time I hitchhiked. Because afterward, I was like, I'm getting a car. I don't need to deal with this crap no more. I went and got me a blue Ford. And that was the end of that. I didn't hitchhike anymore. I don't I don't pick up hitchhikers any, either, I, either because of that. I mean, yes, yes. Very, very wild story that I was not involved in. Well, I was involved in, but not in the way some people would think. But yeah, uh, shout out to Chief Running Water, by the way. I don't, I don't know where you are right now, but I hope you're resting pretty good after that ordeal. But, yeah. Truth is stranger than fiction, folks. Ah, anyway. So, back to this little build. <laughs> Trying to build a cargo hauler right here. That is not working out the way I hoped it would. So, like I said, I want this thing to go onto planets. I just want to go home. Yeah, that, that's it. I just want to go, I just want to go home. <laughs> or as he said, he took that, he said he took him to, San, he went to San Francisco, took him all over the country. 
said something about showing him what all America had done to the land and showed him that he said, I, I felt like we should, I should have showed him we was taking good care of the place while he was gone. So, I mean, just, yeah, you have no idea what you run into when you're hitchhiking. Just, I would suggest if y'all got a hitchhike, get a, get a Greyhound. <laughs> just, it's safer that way. But I've, I've heard weird stories from people um, where they have done some crazy stuff. And I've, I've heard some crazy stories from other people. Okay, so the plan with this is we're going to try and put a big engine system. I want this to go on planets. Oh, I believe it. I wasn't even in the army, and I know I know guys have stories from the army. I've heard tons of good ones. And it's usually it's not the combat ones that are the best. It's always the ones where you and your buddies are like sitting around doing nothing, and then y'all got to invent fun, <laughs> which always ends well. <clears throat> I don't know. So here's here's my problem with this build. I'm wanting to build something that will haul a, let me pull this up here. Let me pull this up here. I want to be able to haul large cargo containers like this with this thing. But I also want it to have jump drive. I want it to be jump drive capable and go down to the planet. I may be asking for too much. It's not going to be able to take one of these things down to the planet. Because um, I'm going to build a secondary thing that can just be hooked up to a... That can be hooked up. And I need to set it up to where I'll have a claw that can stick off. Similar, there's a... Look sideways, cough, cough, invent fun. Yes. <laughs> yes. When you get bored. Many a good stories were done when the army guys just did not have anything to do. <laughs> What was the old saying? If you, if you don't idle hands with the devil's plaything, or the devil's workshop, uh, there, there's a lot of instances. Well, I, I give you one. Gun trucks in Vietnam. I love the story of the gun trucks. I don't know why that's never been made into a movie. Because that would be just that would be the best movie. When you start hearing about them guys talking about grabbing things, stealing things, all that. Wait a minute. I know how I can do this. I'm doing this all wrong. I may have to build this asymmetrically. I don't know. So the jump drive is going to be central access of this thing. I mean, can you imagine a scene in a movie, though, where two, where like four or five army truckers are sneaking onto a naval ship and outfoxing the Navy on their own vessel just to steal a twin 50 cal deck gun off of it? For their gun truck. <laughs> that would be prime entertainment right there. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to shove this bad boy here. And then I'm going to put this bad boy here. And then I'm going to try and figure out how I'm going to get side to side thrust out of it. <clears throat> See, this is the problem with these really big ships I like to build. This isn't even a big ship. It's just a small, medium-sized cargo hauler. And I'm wanting to build something like this, something cheap and easy to build inside a Space Engineer, so I'd have something that can be flown in, do some stuff, and then fly back out. So I got forward and backward thrust. I want a big ion thruster. Actually, I don't need a a big ion thruster in the front. We need one in the back and we need a few atmospheric thrusters on the back just to get not even big ones. We just need a few ones on the back just to get some speed out of this thing. But yeah, I love the stories of, of army guys inventing fun. It's like, uh, what is it? Fat Electrician says, if you ever get the chance to play paintball with Marines, you should do it. I've done that. It is it is the most fun you can have as an individual. 
if I was referring to some weird supernatural stuff, but yes, once I, once her, my captain wanted a Coke machine on Friday, Monday, he had one sitting in his office. What was supply sergeant? Yes, I, I too don't believe the E4 Mafia exists. <laughs> Trust me. Hey, you play paintball with army guys. Oh man, that is that is the best. I did D Day Adventure Park uh, with the big massive paintball thing they do. Oh, that that was fun, especially when the European guys come over and start cosplaying. Because I I met the I met some poor dudes. A couple of Scotsmen came over, and they were having the worst time. I ended up in a foxhole with them out there. They had like dugout foxholes. We're like shooting stuff up, and. Thing about Oklahoma, a lot of y'all in Europe don't realize Oklahoma, the U.S., where we're at, is in like a transitional area. Y'all are way up top on y'all's uh, equator point, so you have to get like real low to start running into like areas where it starts turning tropical. From the Mason-Dixon line down, which is where the south and the which was a separation from the south and the north, it starts to get more and more tropical as you go down. You, you can just feel it in the climate as you're going downward. When you get to tropical climates, you get big stuff. I have a bunch of dudes from Scotland in army kilts. Army kilts. Because each one of them had a dad that was at D-Day who ran onto the on there wearing army kilts and playing, or, or one of them was playing bagpipes and he was running out there in an army kilt. We're in a foxhole, about five of them in there. I'm in my gear they're in their gear, and they're they're not wearing anything under theirs. Okay, I got flashed plenty of times to know that I'm not gay. Uh, just putting that out there. <clears throat> but anyway, while I'm down there in this foxhole, what happens? They start screaming and yelling in uh, Scottish. It's the only thing I can think of what that would be called. And I'm like, what? And I turn and I look, and Oklahoma has these giant ass tarantulas sitting out there. They're like the size of the palm of your hand. Well, think, think the crap that you saw in the Indiana Jones movie, Raiders of the Lost Ark, when, they, when it's like knocking spiders off the guy's back. A little bit smaller than that. And it's sitting over there, and I'm just, I turn, I see it, because I'm not phased by this stuff. I grew up out in the middle of nowhere in the boonies. And I just like flick, <laughs> flicked him off, and I'm like, y'all okay? And they go, what the F is wrong with you? Your F and spiders are so huge in this country. <laughs> I'm like, it takes me a minute because it's like foreign. I'm like, first I want to say, Did, don't they have large ones? And I realized, no, I'm, I'm confusing Australia with somewhere in Europe. So my geography got all messed up in the moment. Oh God, dude, I did that. I did in basic. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I was like, paintball was that thing where I got, I loved it because I, that was one of those things where I, I, you get involved in it and you're like, okay, I think I'll have fun at this. And then you actually get to do it, and you're like, yes, I'm really going to have fun at this. I'm trying to think of what I want to do here. Here's the bad part. There's a trick I want to use on this, and the problem is it's a two-block trick, and I've got three blocks to play with. Let me see if I can do that here. I want to see if that's possible. It may not be possible. Where's my doors? There's a trick I've seen in some of the built stuff. Yeah, it ain't gonna work. Ah, crap. It worked like this. Yeah. The plan was to put this over here to where it would show that little dot there. If it were on the other side, though, like this, I could access it. And then turn that into, like, an access port. That's not going to work, though. Yeah, that, I'd, honestly, if you, it, honestly, if you ever play paintball and you find a guy that is in the Marine Corps or a guy that's in the Army and you realize it, because a lot of times they won't tell you they're in the Army or the Marine Corps, uh, if you find those guys, the best thing I can tell any new players is hang close and just listen. Don't ask questions. Just hang close and listen. Because the one thing that the guys in the military always like, they like someone who listens to them. 
because then they can use you. If you can listen and you can halfway do what they're asking, Red Havoc, hello, how you doing? Uh, Amora, Oklahoma, the one state where you get all four seasons in a 24-hour period. Yeah. Red Havoc, I'm back after a long time. Nice. Uh, how you doing? Like I was saying, the one thing I've learned about Army guys is if they have, if you can sit there and do something when they tell you to do it, oh, you're their favorite person at that point. Because they don't like to lose. Just they, they, they like to win just like everybody else likes to win. So if they can take you and send you out onto the battlefield and, and they can say, okay, yeah, you go over there and take that area and cover us as we move up, and you can do that, hey, they, they love having you there. Then you can sit back and, and you can get some guys up. Uh, Red Havoc, I'm good. Fitness fellas, sup, nerd? Yeah, if y'all are here, just say something. I mean, oh, cool, got a like. Awesome, thank you guys. That's that's amazing. All right. I just see I was sitting there looking up at finest fellas and I saw a heart go across the screen. Thank you all everyone. But anyway, yeah, like I said, if they if they can use you, the most the thing that I've seen annoy annoy them the most is when people start like asking questions. Don't ask the questions. Just sit there and go, just go up to them and say, "Hey, uh, what do you want me to do?" And if they realize, "Oh, this guy we I can send this dude out and go do and him go do something." They they love that. They love they love having someone that they can that they can trust to just go out there get something get a job done. Then afterward, you're like, you're talking about all the stuff that's going on. And um, then then they'll want to tell you about stuff. They'll want to impress you afterward, because hey, you're you're a good guy in their book. So, I I have had situations though where I've had people sit back and mistake me for being in the military, and I'm like, no, I'm not. I was never in the military. My dad just beat my ass when I was a kid. <laughs> that's, that's, that's that's where that comes from so anyway like i said what we're doing today for anyone new hopping in i just got done with the healer mark ii and decided i wanted to try my hand at building a a cargo freighter transport hearts for that sexy deep voice you're good bud what you build okay so um Right now, I'm building a cargo transport because there's a picture of the Millennium Falcon that I seen one time where the front prow of the Millennium Falcon, you know how it kind of comes forward and it's got that little tooth-looking thing in the front or that little skid steer or forked-looking section uh, where it shows where it was dis in concept art where it would latch onto a vehicle or a, a thing of cargo and it would transport the cargo through in deep space. So what I'm trying to do is something similar that has a jump drive and one large ion engine for pushing. And then we're gonna set up a couple of ion engines around it and modify this thing into a ship that can, not a combat ship per se, uh, might put maybe two guns on it like I did the Walker class. And I might even offset <clears throat> the, uh, Bah, brain just crapped out all of a sudden. Might try to offset the, um, ah, why does it keep dropping out like that? I need some caffeine or something or a soda, I guess. I have no idea. Yeah, uh, Amora, afterwards, arm around, shoulder, shove a beer in their hand and say, you're good. I like you. Yeah, Red Havoc. I built a missile launching ship, but the missiles won't get out when I put thrust override. Do you use mods or vanilla, Fonis fella? Um, doing vanilla right now. Uh, these are just vanilla builds that I'm working on. Uh, I've got some things like the healer, um, the ah, uh, uh, what is what is it? The Bobcat. The Bobcat is really cool. That's just my little take on a it almost looks like a halo warthog but recently we did one where it was a um a hemet that was the first part of the live stream if you want to watch it um <clears throat> but modded thrusters yeah mandibles all oh, the docking area between the front mandibles where it had three cargo pods yeah yeah that's what i'm doing so the idea is i'm going to have a double layer of cargo containers probably about three long this thing can lock into it 
pull those off and we'll have the ability to pull that cargo out and then jump with it and make jumps. Yeah, I'd, that thing has run really good. Uh, we're fixing that. We've been trying to play around with it a bit more. And here I am. I'm talking more than I'm building at the moment, but, <laughs> but yeah, it, it has, it, it can do a lot of stuff. I mean, it, it was like just a really small transport vehicle. And this time around, I even put a, I may do a video on it where I put a deal in the new healer where you just lower it to the ground and then it has like an auto locking sequence, which locks on. And then I'm going to do like a drop ship or something at some point in time to move all of it. But <clears throat> right now I'm trying to figure out where to put the next set of thrusters at. I think, let me check out here real quick. Let me see. Where's my thrusters? <clears throat> I just took off on here and didn't even think about what I was doing. I want to maybe replace that big thruster with one of these. Actually, no, we're not going to do that. I want to do this. Oh, really? Oh, really? Okay, so we're going to have to add something here. I think this is where I want to put my batteries at. I'm not using the mirror tool at the moment because sometimes you put stuff in the mirror tool. Uh, especially like these warfare blocks that I like so much. All right, we got two of those. Two of those. And let's... <clears throat> I'll post my ship on Mod.io and this time I made a ship that isn't a cube, still a whip. I've got to figure out Mod.io because I am unable to check out stuff on Mod.io right now. I need to sign up to it. It's just getting time between work and everything else. Right now, <clears throat> my current job, which I would love to do something else if possible, has me out there. Uh, it's an insurance job, pretty much. And the really annoying part about it is the guy that is the insurance adjuster <sighs> basically wants me to go out. Actually, this is a Willis Duck moment. This is a Willis Duck moment. Where's the Willis Ducks? And more, I'm still, I need to finish a build I am working on and put it on the workshop. Yeah. Um, just check <clears throat> that, that. That's one of those things too. I've got stuff I, I should put on the workshop too. Uh, the, the new healer I'm going to put up there. And then um, I'm going to try and build like a combat drone for a carrier. Something simple. Something with uh, just twin cannons. And that can be cheaply built really quickly and just throw it into combat. No cockpit whatsoever, just straight drone looking. What was I here for? Willis Ducks, that's what I'm after. Okay. There's our first Willis Duck. Let's go over here. Now this is interesting because one of the things the Willis Ducks allows you to do Aha! Uh -huh. That's what I want. Just like that. And... Just like that. And here's what we're going to do. Um, going to throw... That here. And where is... I need a T-junction Willis duck. Just a T-junction. There we go. <clears throat> now, I can reach all of that if I want to. Make sure. Bingo.
Badger, is there a way I can send you a pic? Yeah, Discord. Uh, there's a Discord in the description of any video that's not a live stream right now. So if you want to send me something, have at it. I, I love seeing some of the builds that come up at times. Okay, so I got Willis Ducks in here. This is going to be fun. Now to test the Willis Ducks, I think I can do this. Let's just... Yeah, we'll have to do that with uh, something else. <laughs> that didn't work like I wanted it to. Oh, no. Oh, we have a problem. Okay, we're going to have to take you out here for a minute. Okay, got stuck. That's embarrassing. <laughs> Badger, what happened? I got stuck <laughs> in my own ship. <laughs> that is embarrassing as I'll get out. Okay, there we go. So there's something I know a lot of people are wondering. Can you just like walk through the Willis Ducks? And no, you can't just walk through the Willis Ducks. The, um, the problem with the Willis Ducks is if you try it for some reason, you can't just go through them like this. You have to be crouching in order to get through them, no matter what. It's something within the code, so sorry about that. Yeah, okay, so I've got access to both of these, which frees up the entire bottom area for some sideways thrusters. I wonder if I shouldn't just take that out <clears throat> there. I wonder how airtight a, um, a Willis duck next to one of the ion thrusters would be. I will find out here in a minute. <clears throat> so we have access here. Let's, where's the T junction? No, let's not do that. Let's do 1x junction here. Actually, what am I going to put here? It's ramp a great Willis Duck, Willis Duct 2. Willis Duck with the light and Willis Duct with the turn point. We'll do that. Red Havoc, bye. Okay, see you, man. So, <clears throat> with this, should be able there. Now, what I can do here is I can strap on the number six. I can do this crap. We can do this. That's what we're talking about right here. <clears throat> it's going to be wide. I'm not I'm not saying it won't be wide, but it will be wide. Posted on the late nighters. I'll be sure to check that out, man. Because that is where uh <clears throat> I've been primarily keeping stuff at. Ah, oh, that creates a problem here. No, I don't like that. It's gonna make it's gonna bulk the ship up too much. It's gonna be way too wide. It's gonna get wide anyway, but that is that is really gonna make things wide.
We'll do that. Just do a corner right in there. Because then it'll give me the ability to do some other stuff if I want. <clears throat> so, another thing I need is some thruster, some, you know, atmospheric thrusters on either side. I think three each will do it. Okay. That'll help there. Now, ah, the plan for the front, at least this is my plan, is to put the... So, the, I want to make this thing like one level, if I can. So, when I get done putting all this in here, it'll pretty much be set. So, now I need to figure out power. Yeah, we got to figure out some power supply here. Mm, trying to think of how many reactors I would need to make this thing work. How many reactors would I need? Because instead of doing this, yeah, I, I normally I would use, I probably could use symmetry for this part here, actually. That would actually help give me an idea of how this thing's going to work. So we'll just do some symmetry right now, and then the asymmetrical parts I'll figure out later. I think the thing I want to do, because this is not built to be a combat ship, it's going to be pretty basic so there, there's a lot I can get away with here I think what I'm gonna do there we are Yeah, I'm thinking too as well. The thing I'm trying to figure out is where am I going to put them at? Actually, what I need right now is an air vent in here. The reactors don't have to be right up close. So I can actually set them in however I want to set them at. <clears throat> Okay, let's uh, go over here. I'm going to grab an air vent real quick because I do want an air vent at some point on here. Yeah, I'm thinking two small reactors would probably do probably pretty decent. Let's go ahead and put this thing in here. Slap that right there. I almost can I yank the hyperdrive off here without making all this fall apart I think I can yeah it's all connected pretty good let's yank the hyperdrive off real quick because I got to looking at it I'd like to swap this around so that I got this <coughs> side showing right here there we go. Now let's get our vent. And our vent one. So upper layer is going to be where characters move around. Lower layer is where our characters are going to... Uh, buh, 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 buh. Lower layer is where our player, where the player is going to be able to have all of the systems set up. There may be a an area in there somewhere. They really need 
Space Engineers really needs to build like a ramp or something for a ship. Get something for like um, hyperdrive or something like that. Okay, so the next part. <clears throat> Put that in. Is that T-junction? Yes, it's a T-junction. Okay, that's working out good. I'm going to shove that in there. And I wonder if I can put four in. Four would be pushing it. Well, it would look cool with four. All right, we'll do that. And then uh, now on to nuclear reactors. Okay. We have reactor one and reactor two, two large reactors. don't do a whole lot different else that'll give us a pretty decent charge to the hyperdrive I could get away with just one though and make this a really compact engine room or, or two I could get away with two with the batteries I got on here actually I could get away with two as long as I've got enough area to charge it with Let's just do, because <clears throat> I don't want this thing being overpowered as I'll get out. And then the big problem I have is right here. I could... redo this probably actually I could add another battery on here that would give me six batteries and then just have one over here you can just access I just have to break this out add my batteries here okay all that's still powered up let me uh, grab the battery. Where's the battery? Battery, 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 battery. Right here. Oh, crap. I've got the... I'm going to turn this off real quick. Because the mirror tool... Though nice... Does cause some problems. <laughs> when you're trying to use it. Yeah, I would like that too. You can kind of get away with, um, what is the deal? The small uh, plates, you can put those up on side of blocks. Uh, for those that are wondering, and Mora said, Space Engineers needs a whole lot of blocks. Not to mention, wish we could paint one side of the blocks instead of the whole block. Yeah, so you can kind of get away with one side painting by just slapping a different uh, plate on there, but that enables itself to a whole bunch of other problems. I did that with um, the F302 build that I did uh, that's on the uh, Steam Workshop. And you can pretty much just... Why did I just do that? I have lost my mind today, folks. There we go. Uh, two. So what we're trying to do is <clears throat> trying to make this an interesting little armory area. That, and we're going to do this here. I'm going to put... Let's see, I need just a straight Willis duck. That's it. Just a straight Willis duck. One there, and one right there. 
And you can hop in here and go right up into the deal. Mess with all the batteries. So all that can be worked on. <clears throat> we got the hyperdrive can be worked on. Um, lots of other things can be worked on. We've got enough thrusters to push to the sides and, and push forward to get us some speed going. The only thing I'm going to need and probably going to have to worry about is having enough thrust to lift this thing off the ground. That's going to be the big kicker. So next on the list of stuff that needs to be added to this. Need some interior blocks. Now I can do this here. Let's also grab, I will say, a weapon rack. Because you can also do this too. Just making it to where I've got all kinds of options. And this is where I need to take the mirror tool back off. That's the only thing about the mirror tool that's annoying, is if you want to put different things on different sides of the deal. Very hard to do so. So we're going to do a half armory here. And yeah, this thing's going to have a nice amount of just... Hey, you're, you're kind of claustrophobic in this thing. Yes. In fact, I am so much a sci-fi geek. And more I asked, are, am I, uh, are you a sci-fi geek? Yes. I'm so much of a sci-fi geek that I know where you can get a Lego um, Daedalus model on the internet for like 400 bucks. It's from an off, it's from a uh, company, probably Chinese based. You can get the Gould mothership. You can get, uh, and I, I'm quite proud of myself for finding this. So, <laughs> but you can get the Gould mothership. You can get all this really cool. Actually, I just realized something I need to, there's an easier way of doing that and adding way more storage. We'll just, I should have kept the mirror tool on. Really should have. Because this, this room here is going to have to be too wide anyway. But it, um... You can get a Daedalus class. You can get the, um, the Orion from Stargate Atlantis. You can get, um, <clears throat> I can't remember the site because it's on my tablet. I will, i tell y'all what. I will go into the Stargate tab, or I, I'll either make a Stargate. Nah, I won't do that. I'll just put it up in, because um, it, it was so cool. I was like, F it. I, I need to just show this off because it was just so awesome. And I thought, eh, we'll just I'll just throw it in here. We'll just throw another one of these in here. No, not like that. Not like, well, maybe like that. <laughs> Let me see here. And that makes a pretty good interesting point. Uh, I tell you what, would be even better. This is engineering. This is engineering. We need engineering stuff. We need some effing servers. That's what we need. Oh, if it wasn't for that battery sitting there. Brick builder, no. Um, it was something else. Uh, it's a cheap knockoff company. They got, they have the Normandy as a Lego set. I mean, the company figured out what to do with Lego and just went to town with it. They, they don't even do like little brick figures or anything. There's, there's no Lego men or anything like that. It is just, um, it is just a couple of Legos that you put together. It's like a model you build out of Lego bricks and they're compatible. They're almost 100% compatible with other Legos. So whatever you can build with this, uh, you can build with anything. You can probably build it with an actual Lego set. If Lego would stop being retards with their stuff and actually do something cool with it, <clears throat> which is a big problem with Lego. A lot of times <laughs> Lego doesn't want to do 
the cool stuff. Lego wants to sit back and, and do the weird stuff, which is all right. Okay, got that going. We're going to need to pull this forward. And somewhere in here, I need some small storage for going to planets. And I'm having trouble figuring out where we'll put that. And so far, this is looking pretty good. So far, this is looking pretty good. It's not Brick Builder. Give me, give me just a second here. Give me a second. You're probably going to hear my head crack a little bit. Because I know I've got it on my tablet. Okay. Ah, bring me that back. Continue browsing. Okay. It is, let me see what's called. Build mock. It's on AliExpress. And uh, it is about 400 bucks. $431. And it is the deadless. Like it is, it is one of the coolest things. Badger, I have one shelf roughly 20 feet long and four others three feet long that has Star Wars, Macross, Transformers, Star Trek, Battlestar Galactica, models, Lego, actual toys from the 80s. Yeah, the one thing I really wanted from the 80s was, when I was a kid was Optimus Prime. That was the one thing I really wanted. And I'm sitting here looking at this and realized I could do something really cool right now. <sighs> if my poor dumb brain would leave me alone... I could probably get some crap done. <laughs> okay. No, no, no. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. No. Yeah, it's got a gold uh, mothership. It has the, they have the, oh, I heard of them. Yep. Yeah. yeah. I was, I was looking around online. I was just looking up ship ideas and ran across a Lego Daedalus. And I was like, the frick is this? <laughs> started type and started going down a rabbit hole and I didn't get nothing done that I wanted to get done. But I went down the rabbit hole and there it was. It was the Daedalus class. And I was like, okay, this is this is interesting. We we've gotta we gotta look into this a little bit more. Um let me see something here. We need a way to build oxygen. So we need oxygen. We need tanks. Let's uh, spin an oxygen tank here around. Like I said, I'm trying to compress as much stuff into this as possible. May be successful, may not be. That'll work. That'll work too. Do that. We now have oxygen working right there. That looks good. And I don't know... You know what? Screw it. We'll put these in here. Do it. Cheers. Yeah, I was going to do it, but then I, I realized it wouldn't work very good. What am I doing? I realized it wouldn't work that well because if I do what I was... See, what I was planning on doing was I was planning on putting a, a ladder here and then running somehow or another the servers underneath. But I think what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to get the cargo containers because I'm going to need small ones in here anyway for stuff. This is just going to be like a a small cargo container for whatever. I'll put that there. And we'll also put one over here. There we go. And we got some small cargo containers to put stuff in. And this just makes this room look like there's something going on everywhere. So you walk in to engineering, you walk in, you're going to see, you know, you got your air vent here and I could put a panel or something on the wall here that'll work. Uh, you also have this stuff going on as you walk through. You run to the Willis ducts, or you run to this stuff. You get an oxygen tank on the floor. It just adds detail to the whole thing. And I may even put a light, uh, one of those inset lights, because that is just enabling me to do a whole lot of other stuff. 
that I normally could not do. By the way, let's go ahead and do something fun here. Uh, let's see. This is a great idea. Let's grab this. Um... Wanting to do like a corridor look. So now it just looks like there is a lot of stuff going on here when you walk into engineering. And engineering is small. It's gotta be small. It's it's a it's a medium to large ship. It's got to be small. And more of cheers. Oh, you leaving me? Uh, if you are, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Uh plan is to do more of these Friday build streams. Because they seem to be pretty popular. I do want to do them on uh, X-Play. Because X-Play... I just realized I need to move that... Um, oxygen tank around here. Hang on. Like I said, I've been wanting to do... X-Play because they are... They seem to be a really good... In terms of... Like... I say really good... They seem to be really good in terms of paying customers and paying their supporters. So I'm just looking at them like, yeah, I would I would love to have some stuff to work with, you know, some capital. That'd be nice. Uh, let's see here. I can add this. There are lots of things we could do right here. Let's see what that looks like. Actually, how bad would a door be right here? Oh, that's not bad. My biggest disappointment with the Willis Ducks was they don't have a door otherwise that that would be awesome see what i wanted the willis ducks to do where is it i wanted this thing to like shift up and go upward so you can access it and go in oh and more not leaving all right cool 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 uh how long have i been on here there's a question oh this is going pretty good Nice. We, we haven't even gone that long yet. But yeah. I What I really wanted the Willis Ducks to do was have that and just have it slip up. But that didn't that didn't work out, unfortunately. It didn't it didn't do that. <laughs> Which was very, very unfortunate. So we got this nice side to side thrust. I do you think somewhere along the line I'm going to have to start adding some upward and downward thrusters to this? I think right along in here. Yep. That didn't work out. Now we're only going to need these for... Honestly, that's going to force me to build a massive corridor to put all that in. Okay, we're not going to put those there. Because I kind of want to switch this around here in a sec. I know what I can do. I know what I can do. I know what I can do. This is the coolest trick I saw from Luca the Guide. So, we're going to do toilet here. And... Let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Oh, let me think. I've got a plan here. It's just, it's like 
the crudes. I have an idea. I'm just trying to get it out. What am I looking for here? It's not that. It's this one. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, so how many people... This, this was the coolest idea I've ever seen. We have two beds here. Two beds there. And then I need a shower. And uh, we need a toilet. Walk through the toilet here. And then it, it also we've got like a lining of beds this way. May install for viewing pleasure. Can have an armory locker here. We have lockers, weapon rack, or a full blown armory here, just a changing room. For players, for the people, for the people, and then all I need is a door here. The kicker is how thin is that, how difficult is that door going to be put in? door we can go into check out engineering look around things will be awesome I may add I could probably add a locker here let me see I could add lockers and stuff here let me let me try this oh wait I already got lockers what am I thinking I want to add more crap to this thing I want to put more lockers in how would that that would actually work <laughs> I'm not gonna lie that would actually work that looks pretty good Uh-oh. Did we lose... Uh, did I lose you guys? Oh, no. What's happening? Let me check. Checking the actual live stream right now. Okay, it's back up. Uh, my phone skipped for just a minute, and I couldn't see you guys. Honestly, though, we do need a block... As I'm building this here, I realize in Space Engineers, we need a block that is just on the wall that does something. Let me see. I need to redo this door if I can. I need to see how... Number five. How much room will that take up? Yeah, that's just going to... You're not going to be able to get in there. Okay, we're just going to have to deal with this uh, corridor here being that tight now for the bottom let me see if I can find it here number three and there's pipe works I don't think I want to be walking on pipe works This would be interesting to walk on, though. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, that is just the claustrophobia you need right there. Hey. 
There we go. Look at that. Now, the next part here is I need to add a need to add gyroscopes, obviously. And I need to add Oh boy, something else. What am I thinking? I need two gyroscopes at the very least. So let's add those next. Because as I'm going through here, I'm thinking about everything I need, and I realize I gotta get stuff in here or I am never gonna have it on. That'll be perfect right there. We'll do that. And that, that gives us our gyros. The next problem I'm going to run into, I may have to take these thrusters here, these Admiral thrusters, and I may have to push them out. And I may put some ion thrusters pushing down right here. Sometimes you just got to move stuff around. And then I'll have to figure out the atmospheric thrusters later. Well, I'll have those thrusters pushing down. And then I just got to find a place to put some upward thrusters pushing up. And then uh, we'll be pretty much set. Now, what I want to do here... Let's take this corridor block. Right here. No, that's going to create a problem. Hmm... I want this area to open up. Let me try something here. Will this work? We're about to find out. So there's a central point right here. I'm not going to have access. I'm going to have some empty space right here. I don't like that. I don't like empty space. Hmm. Also, that doesn't look as industrial as I'd like it to be. Let's go down one more. That works out, that works out. Now, I suppose what I could do, I could put a doorway here. Because I'm, I'm also going to have to add an air vent here as well. That just has to be done. There you go. Air vent. Ta-da. And this is probably where we're going to put the gyro in. Put the gyroscope right here. I'd like to put it down there, but i got to put something in place first. And I don't know what I want to put in the bottom yet, so we're just going to attach it directly to that. And then add a block going through here had to change machines still around though cool 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 the more is still with us <clears throat> but so now I could have two blocks here and then I want custom turrets on the top and bottom idea where's that programmable block at that I had Number five. So here we got our custom turret block. I'll have to put that over here somewhere. First off, I need my door. Where's my door? We're not going to do crazy doors. We're just going to put like in regular doors like this. And then let me go back to number three. 
and add these. This just opens up the whole area a little bit more. Ship's getting a little long, I've noticed. Now I can go in here. I can also add a corridor here somewhere. I think a corridor may be the best option. Honestly. And actually, the um, yeah, that might be the better option. Because at this point, I may start bringing out a cockpit that is kind of off-center from the rest of the ship. And have it just kind of come around the side, kind of like the Millennium Falcon. Hmm. Ideas. The kicker is, I may want to put an airlock in here, into this area where the gyroscope is at, so that, because like I said, it's not a military ship. This is meant to just do like cargo hauling and stuff like that. It's supposed to be something y'all can build in-game fairly easily, put some custom turrets onto it, or just slap a regular turret that you want on there, and then y'all can go do like combat missions with it. Not combat missions. Y'all can go do, you know, like regular missions with it. And the problem here is I'm beginning to see some issues with the way things are built right now because the way things are being built at the moment, I have very little ability. Well, I can add stuff, but I have very little ability to add new stuff. I'm going to have to expand the size of this thing a bit outward so we got the gyros on each side which is working we got the bed area of course I could take out one of the bed areas oh this is so annoying I'm from some asymmetry here, folks. We're going to take this armory section out here. And I'm going to add shower. Okay, I need to reposition myself here so I can see this stupid toilet and get it lined up. <clears throat> Secondary toiletry. And then I'm just going to add something here and here. Hopefully, I can put something in place that over here. And this might be where the start of the cockpit area is going to go. Yeah, that's that's how that's going to work. So what I need here is I need a door. There's my door. Number five. Got a door there. Um, and I'll need a corridor heading off this direction. So where's my corridor blocks? Number nine. Okay, let's see what we got here. I actually could do this, and I would be able to look in on the... Uh, as you walk by, you'd be able to look in. That add a little bit more openness to the ship, I think. Can also add passage 
three with the light. I could do that. I could do. I could not do that. Do the light passage here, and then that'll break off into this one room here, which will be the actual cockpit area. And then I'll try to build something right in there. <laughs> I'm just right now. I'm just throwing things in there. What were those blocks you deleted? The hallway looking ones with the angles. Um, that is, hang on, my wife just showed up. <clears throat> okay, so the, um, those are a, let me see if I can find them here. That's a detail block, which is in the interior wall section has like all the half walls and everything else and they're basically just uh, an angle you put in makes everything look bigger which reminds me I could probably do that well no I'd have to do that here I probably will do something like that right here Let's see. I need. I think I got. Yeah, I got that one right here. So we'll do that. That way the gyroscopes can be messed with at any point in time. Close that door and close that door. The only problem here is if I put the automatic door scripts in, these are going to be turning each other on every time someone walks into them. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, wonderful, 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 wonderful. Okay, I think what I can do here is we can just take this and I can add, there was a half block here. And I can add a, I want to add a quarter block here, but I don't see that as being really... Actually, yeah, let's, well, I don't know. I'm going to have to see as I get the rest of this thing built how I can build the, the rest of that. So we'll, we'll worry about the cockpit here in a minute. Right now, let's grab these bad boys. We need two more of those. And now we have a nice little area for all the pilots and everything to be in. So yeah, that's turning out pretty good. Got a nice engineering area, all that good stuff. Yes, yes, yes. It's working out great. Four-man uh, spacecraft for hauling stuff. We got the one big main heavy ion thruster on the back. And I don't know, we may set this thing up for solar. The problem with oxygen, uh, putting on an oxygen farm on this thing is, if we put it on there, it wouldn't generate enough oxygen. It'd just be better off throwing some ice into something and just letting it go. That'd be the best way to do it, personally. Um, hmm. Actually, that may be a thing I do at some point. I may do, um, and Mora here was, Badger, I'd love to do a build with you one day. I am working on doing a higher tier on the subscribe star where if y'all want, like, it's, it's not going to be like a low tier thing. It's going to be like up in like the $20 or something like that where... I'll do like a live stream and like a couple of y'all can just jump in and it'll just be like a Rolodex system. Whoever's there on the Rolodex that live stream, y'all can just jump in and join up. Uh, and it'll just be vanilla builds. I won't throw like any mods or anything on it and drive nuts. We may do some other stuff while I'm at it. It's like, I've been sitting here thinking about some of the stuff I could do. 
And one of them I came up with was could just bring some people in and all of us just ha like do a hangout or something like that. But I'm trying to figure out how I would do a lot of that stuff. All right, let's see here. Um, wouldn't be bad to have a kitchenette system in here. The problem is I don't know how I would implement it. May put something in here. I don't know. Might do a vending machine and just open this area up. That would be a pretty good, actually. No, I can't do that. What I need is a kitchen area right here. I think I could probably just build like a small kitchen area and then just slap a vending machine right there. Let's see if we got those. Let's see if we've got that. I know I got the block here. Okay. I want to see what a vending machine looks like. Get to the vending machine. Do we have that here? That's not here. Where is the vending machine? Nothing there. There is a vending machine on here. I know that. Let's see. ATM. We need that. Especially we need an ATM. Because, good lord. If you don't have an ATM, there's something wrong. A dispenser. Yeah, we got those. Actually, all I need is, let's, let's do this. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I, I got something good going. All right. Here's the kitchen. Number five, here's that dispenser that everybody loves. We got an ATM in here. Maybe a vending machine if I can get it on the ground. The vending machine will be able to vend some stuff. But we'll have that. And if I square off this section here, let me grab a block. Just a throw in here. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to put that there. Planning on the fly. A lot of thinking. There's a lot of thinking that goes into this. <laughs> my wife is probably looking, my wife is giving me looks like, man, you were so dumb for doing this. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Let me see. What do I want to do here? I want to put some stuff in this area right here. Some seating would be nice. Uh, so people can just sit around. Let's see about desks. Sounds like a good idea. You can put like two desks here or set them corner to corner like so. So let me uh, go back to my regular block. And I could turn this area into storage, actually. Like my other two uh, storage blocks right here. Let's just build this right here for the moment so I can see what I, I can visually, visu oh, visually visualize what I'm going to do here. Okay. See, there you go. It looks like a kind of a KitchenAid area. You got the vending machine over here. You got the ATM. The only problem I'm going to run into is the ATM is set right there. I need a need a different place to put it. I kind of 
want to keep this open so that this is like the main airlock that you're going in and out of. And somehow, I would like that to go out. That or I may slap an airlock on here that we can just pull up to the side of the station with and utilize that. <coughs> Gravity. Dad, gum. I forgot gravity. Hmm. Wow, I'm stupid. Gravity on a ship. Forgot it. Can't believe that. Actually, I have access to the hyperdrive. I can I can fix it from inside the Willis ducts. That's not a problem. I need to manipulate some of these Willis ducks here. Oh, I had this on mirrored. That, see, this is why mirrored is such a problem. Because some blocks, it will it will put them in the right way. So this is supposed to be the right way on the other side. That one works. Now I just need a Willis duck. T junction, I think is what it is. Yeah. Right there and right there. Yeah, that works. So then the other thing I need right now is I just need a roof up here. Let's go over this. One. Now. There. Then I might... See, here's the problem. I really wanted this to be open right here where I could just walk right in and do what I want. But it looks like I'm going to have to shove a gravity generator right here. Look at that real quick. Every so often, man, I'm sitting here working on this stuff and I forget crap on a ship. Don't you just love that, folks, when you're sitting here trying to... Cover the vent. Ah, eh, hold your horses here. We ain't, we ain't going this way. Kick me out, will ya? This just makes the engineering room look so much cooler. Okay, uh, acceleration. Other way. Kill the backpack, land flat on my face. Okay. And you can probably still crouch down and get to that if you really wanted to. This is a semi claustrophobic engineering room. Access here. Oh, the shower's upside down. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hello, friend. Uh, 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 uh. That means if it's if it's upside down over here, oh, it's probably upside down over here too. I'm gonna have to delete all of that. I am gonna have to delete that too. I'm gonna have to get this thing all figured out. Okay, let's 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 do this again. Let's try this again. That's better. There and there we go. Yeah, that's much better. The shower actually has more privacy now. And we got our toilet. I wish I had more functional corridors, too. That'd be fun. Okay. Well, that's working out. Now, we've got atmospheric thrust in two direct, well, three directions. We've got ion thrust in one direction, which I intend to fix that at some point. 
Uh, what do we think here? I'm wondering if a if an ion thruster is airtight, but I wouldn't be able to put them there anyway. So we got our gravity generator in there. We just need a floor in this spot. Let me see about flooring. Um, hmm. Like I said, I do need to move these out. At least one. So I can put some ion thrusters down there. Let's see. Uh, can I... Okay, that's as far as they're going to go. They're going to be pretty long dated. I'm going to need something to put them in. How do those go in? I don't know. It'll be the opposite on this side. If you're not willing to food bar it, Okay, I can cover that with some stuff. Now we got ion thrust in two directions. Now I just have to get some ion thrusters in another direction, which I might be able to do. Might not, might not. Might have to put the ion thrusters in the bottom. Okay, let's. Nope, 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 nope. Let's see here. One. And we'll do this to the other side as well. Because the ammo thrusters are just going to stick out, they'll be easy to fix. I'm going to need about, I figure, I'm thinking, for atmospheric flight, I'm going to need several atmospheric thrusters. <laughs> See, this is why I didn't do the one deal and, and start shoving all my stuff on here. I bet I'm going to need about eight of these bad boys just to fly with. I may go further. I might just put like a full 10 in here just to give myself plenty of atmospheric flight. I've got the batteries, I think, to keep this going. If not, I'll find a way to put them on. There we go. About 10, 10 atmospheric thrusters. Make it work. Then I can build the... Um, the main cockpit around that somehow which is going to be one long corridor to the main cockpit area and I may even take this and push it on out here and get myself a little extra oomph out of it I had the right blocks, and you'll be looking at a really good ship when it all gets done. So we got the atmosphere throws. I think 10 is going to do it to fly this thing around. I may take two of them off and put them in the back. Yeah, let's do that. And that creates its own problems. Yeah, we're not doing that. We'll just strap the uh, two right here. So all that's working. <clears throat> I 
I need to... I'm gonna need... Ugh. Semi AFK, but still listening. Immora. Yeah, that's cool. Um, like right now, I'm just putting on thrusters and stuff, trying to figure out how I'm going to get these thrusters to work. So you got the ATM here. Ah. Uh. Okay, so we got a vending machine in there. I kind of want to put the ATM, take that out, and turn this area here into cargo storage. The problem is the way I want to do the cargo storage. Is like so. I'm going to put a corridor in here somewhere. But then I also want to put the uh, what is it? The new door blocks on. I don't have those out of here yet. There we go. Now, the only other problem here is this wall is pretty dang bare. But you'll still have to open up these areas here to access this extra cargo. So the ship doesn't need a whole lot of cargo, obviously. It doesn't need a whole lot. <clears throat> I don't know. This thing only needs one good... Uh, airlock and I think that's where I've got it at is probably going to be the best spot I'm probably going to pull through here and pull out this way and then I'll just build this section out rather large for no apparent reason and then I'll hook up our turret system on either side of this and then build that up overward so where's my There they are, number nine. All right, so what we're gonna do, is I'm gonna Ooh, this is gonna be a fun one. <laughs> huh, huh. Okay. Here's the fun part. I gotta tie. Dang, I gotta tie two of these in together. We're gonna have to use a conveyor right here. Yeah, Keen's really gotta build us a. Uh, block system that can be utilized okay so now we have hookups for both turrets to defend this thing with millennium millennium falcon style mind you millennium falcon style huh Actually, I can probably get away with uh, a little bit more than that. <laughs> Let me see here. Do that. Do that. And do that. That way we can get this thing... We can pull this down and we can get past a lot of the stuff. This, see, this area up here is already going to have a have an extra block up. And then this area down here is going to have to have an extra block. Oh, wait a minute. I just, I really jacked that all up. 
Uh, there's there's no way around it. It's just gonna have to stay like that then, I guess. That sucks. That really sucks. That means the corridor block I'm gonna have to put in here is gonna have to be upside down, probably. So let's see about the corridor block that's going in here. That might be a good time. Yeah, I could put one of these in here. Cover all that up. And you would you'd never even notice that there was a block there. That'll work out. That works out just beautifully. There we go. Kind of offset and kind of weird looking, but eh, it works. It works. It works. It works. Now, we still need an ATM somewhere on the ship. We still need an ATM. Don't know where I'm going to put that. I kind of boxed myself into a corner here. So what we've got going on here is this is going to move forward. Connect. Hate to do this because I just realized I can do this. But, but what I could do. Actually, I could put a door there. Cover the whole thing up. See, the one problem I have right now is if I I wanted the players to come out the front of it, but then with the claw on there, that's going to make life difficult when I go to stations and stuff. Because if I recall, the stations have uh, they have a whole lot of things. Well, it's not that they have a whole lot of things. It's just they've got a whole lot of stuff going in their favor about things. The area that you have to hook up to is pretty dang flat. So going through the bridge would be the best option. So we got a nice, decent corridor that's going to go through the bridge area. This is just going to come around and have a, a connector here that connects on. And then we're going to have our locking clamp here in the front. Which should lock on most of this. It's just got the central corridor going through it, which is working beautifully, by the way. Hmm. I really don't want to put a connector on pistons. I'm not really worried about having to do that. I think I need to try and figure out how to build the... Whoops. I think I need to figure out the capture claw here. How it's going to connect and how it's going to help me with I think I'm going to need at least four ion thrusters pushing forward to stop this thing at the least maybe I can get away with three so I mean most of this is pretty much done right here the kicker is I'm just trying to figure out how I can run the rest of this actually here's a, here's a good idea Here's what I can do right here. Such y'all love that corridor idea I did. We'll do this. And then I can run this conveyor and get a second cargo container in here so y'all can have something to work with. And then... I could do that. 
No, no, I can't do that because the plan was originally. That's why I'm going to probably s pull this out. Actually, I'm going to pull this and this one out entirely and put a door in here, like a heavy door. One of the big ones. And if I do this, it's not going to be that big a deal. The problem is that's not going to be any kind of an airlock. And that's what's needed right now is an airlock, unfortunately. I also need some separation in this room, I think. Okay, let's go back here. seriously weird okay let's uh, head back over to this what is going on folks is that not connected Yes, that's not connected. Okay. That's what's not connected. That's not connected. That's what the problem is. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That would have been bad. Oh, that would have been real bad. Okay, so... Let's go back to the door here. We'll do that. And I can add a detail block here somewhere. So that's the starting of the forward section of the ship. That's where the claw is going to be. So if I want to move some people out to the front here and do some work on the claw area, that'll work out. Oh yeah, I forgot. I wanted this to be like that, so it'd be somewhat open when you walk in. So even closed. Even closed, this thing looks pretty good. Then we can put like an air vent in here or something like that that'll suck the air out. Yeah, that's pretty good. I just need to do something with the floor here. And I kind of want to use these a bit. Not really much of a point. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to pull out the old number three. And uh, maneuver that around here. And let's see, where's that one good look? Yeah, right here. That look right there. is going off night of nothing right now and I don't understand why. I thought I turned it down. Let me see here. There we go. Oh well, that's that's solved. That's solved. <laughs> okay. So we've got a nice see that makes a nice looking area right in there. Got a nice zone there. nice one there and so then this next part over here we're gonna do like we did on the other side make it look like the other one 
and might just cut this out and add two more things of cargo. Well, do we need cargo? Probably not. I'll tell you what we need in the ship. <laughs> I need this, and I don't know how to put it in. It needs... I might be able to put that in, actually. See, what I need on this ship is um, a refinery, which I could install, I think. And let me see here. We just need a small refinery for like small fixes and things. Okay, there's no bottom to this thing. There's no bottom, but I could theoretically install it somewhere. I just don't know where. Where could I put this thing? Ah, the advantage of piping under the floors. So, here's the main problem. The main problem is I got to figure out how to attach this thing somewhere in the ship. I'd like to have a refinery and I would love to have an advanced assembler for assembling like really advanced stuff. And I wonder if I could do that here somewhere. Oops, I took the wrong thing out. I want this out. Okay. May I have too much cargo storage? Let's just rip out the cargo storage for a moment. And look at this. All right. I want to put this in here. Basic refinery. Let's throw that in there. It's not turning on. Why is it not turning on? Ah, that's the problem. That's also a problem. Okay, we're going to hook it in right there. There's our refinery. Now here comes the fun part. How in the heck do I install this? Okay, where do I install it at? How do I install it? Let's take a look at it. Let's look at it, let's look at it, let's look at it. Okay, here we go. Oh, that's perfect. That is perfect. Come on down here. Just like so. That would be perfect right here. There we go. Okay, everyone, check this out. We can work on our re our uh, refiner industrial assembler. We also have access to the industrial assembler here. And all I got to do is I just got to pull this one block out here and replace it with another T junction conveyor. Check that out. So now we have access to all of this. We've got all this extra piping and everything in here everything just wraps beautifully and now the ship is multifunctional now the only other problem I've got is I got to figure out how to install more cargo storage because I've lost two cargos and the way I think I can do that oh this will be fun okay First off, I need a temporary block here. And uh, one down here. I need this. And 
this removed and I can put some cargo storage in the floor just just in the floor now we can put it in the floor and yeah you'll be walking on it but eh, it's, it's not that big a deal so now you got three small cargo containers worth of cargo on this ship we've got an industrial assembler probably the most compact <clears throat> um, bathroom shower areas and living quarters I have ever built on a ship and we have an airlock going from point A to point B that all I've got to do now is just add that one corridor block booyah and there we go that is just that's going to be perfect right there and then I just got to work on the claw that's a majority of the ship systems finished the only kicker right now is I'm going to have one way into the ship and one way out and if I work this right I'll have two ways in and two ways out the big problem here is also is with the claw that I'm going to install on this thing to reach out and grab stuff and pull it onto the ship so I can grab hold and haul something. I am going to need... Oh boy. I am going to need to come up with some pretty cool stuff. This is going to have a, a cockpit that's going to come off the side. So we're going to have an offset cockpit on this side of the ship. Millennium Falcon style. You know, just the good stuff. Only the best. Uh, I may branch off here a bit. And I may build that cockpit right in there. Probably about three wide is what I'm going to need. And just, just three sections to build the cockpit and everything and make it look good. And then I'm going to need to come up with some way to... Well, let's see. I'll probably build it off, shoot it right here, actually. So yeah, you come in there, you'll have one, two, three. Let's grab some blocks here so I can troubleshoot this thing a bit. Okay, so we will have uh, this probably have a secondary section out here like so. So it'll be a pretty good sideways cockpit to fly this thing on, you know, off center, all that good stuff. that now we also need the turret control blocks so I think that would be the best place to put them is here that will just look nice and then it's just slapping in some blocks here we'll have the single uh, combat seat here one guy working engineering at all times and then probably two more seats fighting it out I may have to pull this thing out just a bit more so I can just put a row of blocks in there so this might this might get kind of big I don't know <laughs> that's an idea it's an idea we'll get to that in a minute Right now, I need this claw figured out because as soon as I figure it, sooner I figure it out, the sooner everything else works. Now, thinking about it, uh, I'm going to have to add some um, atmospheric thrusters underneath. I've got atmospheric thrusters in four directions. I need them in six. And yeah, I need them in six directions. I have them in four. I also need 
I may reverse a thruster somewhere here. Like two of them. Because I did this on the Walker class. I simply put like two atmospheric thrusters like in here and then just ran a quarter block. I think it's like six blocks is what's necessary. Those are going to be three wide. Let me see here. Let's pull them out. So it's three wide and I think it requires... I think it's three actually. If that be the case, I can probably pull these in a little bit closer. Really. Yeah, I can pull these in closer. Just add two of them like that. Somehow or another. And I would have the sideways thrust I would need. And then all I'll have to do then at that point is just put in like this one corridor. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is right there. And uh, no, you can see how this is turning out real quick. And no, this won't have any effect because I'll run a quarter block through here, which will exit to this point, and then it'll just push on out from there. And you'll never even see these thrusters right in here. I'll actually cover them up. And that kind of is giving us, it's, it's going to be a Millennium Falcon looking ship when we get done. Because it's going to be nice and wide and have all this extra oomph to it. So, the other problem I'm running into is I need sideways, upward, and downward ion thrusters. Which is going to be Fun to figure out. So I think the best way to do that is... We got that area there. Let's go over to our ion thrusters real quick. Uh, which ones am I using? Oh, don't tell me I used the wrong thrust. No, that, that looks good. That looks good. Got these extra sci fi thrusters on the back, just looking kind of different. So we'll do the same thing over here. Uh, number two. How many did I install over there? Three? Uh, we'll install two. We'll go with two. Just two. Just two right there. That'll work out great. That'll give me uh, enough upward thrust and downward thrust. Then I just need side to side thrust. Which will be interesting to try and install. One, two, we'll need three side to side thrust on both sides. And then for the front, I'll run with the original sci-fi thrusters I had before. I'll go one there, one there, and I, I'll I'm gonna run some stuff to make this all just kind of tie in good. Like I really want to push this thruster out a bit more than that. I want it to go further outward. Or I could hide some thrusters. Let's do that. Let's hide some thrusters. Now, 
solving the problem here. I got to go out three with the corridor blocks. We're going to hide thrusters today. Because <laughs> why not? Let's do it. Um, three. Oh, yeah, that's going to look good. One, two, three, I believe. One, two, three. One, two, and three. There we are. There we are. And then it's just adding on the claw section on here so that we can latch on to something. Uh, how I'm going to design that claw is going to be fun in its own right. Go ahead and set this one here, 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 there, there, and one of those. I don't know, I may use some of the rounded blocks to do this with. So now, we're going to shove these in. Okay, that's going to give us our claw section, which is going to be able to latch on and probably even turn itself and probably even use some of the energy or materials off of whatever it is we're obtaining at the moment. So, okay, let's see what I can do here. Uh, da, 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 da. <laughs> fun times, fun times, folks. Um, hmm. that like I said it's gonna get pretty Millennium Falconing here real quick let's go ahead and grab because I've got thrust in all directions let's see how this thing flies first I want to make sure it flies pretty dang good do I not have a okay we're gonna just swap this block here with that Take her for a test spin. Okay, that's good. Okay. Mm Those forward maneuvering thrusters are not that powerful. I'd really like a little bit more. Three would probably help. The question is, where do I get third ones? Let me see something here. Three. One, two. That might do it, Pikachu. Okay, let's see if we can do that here. Um, six. Let's throw those in there. All right. That's going to bulk this out a bit more, adding a few more thrusters to it, but eh. We'll have to deal with it. Let's see if that helps. I can hide those pretty easily. We're going to hide the most of those forward thrusters. Well, that's a pretty decent stopping speed. Yeah, there we go. If I have to, I will throw some more thrusters on there. There we go. That's that's actually maneuvering pretty good. Especially considering the um yeah, it's stopping pretty good, too. Let me uh, grab that cockpit here. Put it over on the side here, where it's it's going to actually go. Let's 
see how it uh so when the pilot's flying this thing it's gonna be right about here it's gonna make for some interesting maneuvers I'm not gonna lie And really, it's it's not killing itself on power. I'm saying 18 minutes left, but is that 18 minutes on the batteries? Oh, hold up now. That's 18 minutes with all the thrusters on at once. Let me uh, turn off the atmospheric thrusters here. Oh, it's still 18 minutes, huh? It's going to be impressive. I may have to figure out how I can put an extra battery on here or maybe an extra reactor on here or something. Let me see what I can do here with the reactor part of it. Hmm. Actually... I can put an extra reactor on here. I can put two extra reactors on this thing. Hold up now. Okay, so we... Frick. I don't think I can put an extra reactor on there, can I? Yeah, I can't. No, I can't. Dang. So the area I was going to put an extra reactor in... At, uh, turns out... Turns out that I'm using that. Well, wait a minute. I'm not using that for cargo storage, actually. Ha! Huh. Okay. Number four. And let's go to this type of small reactor because it'll actually come off a lot better. There we go. Now let's see how this works. Still showing 18 minutes of flight time. Still side ones are just maneuvering thrusters mostly. It's that main heavy thruster. And I bet if I turned it off. Let's kill that sucker for a second and take a look here. Where you at, buddy? Yeah, so what's going to have to happen is we'll just turn on that main thruster if I need, like, the extra push. That'll be an accessible heavy thrust unit. And... See, the problem with ion thrusters is they use so much power. That's the big problem with those. Let's see now. So you got maneuvering thrusters and everything else, and then just power up the big main thruster, which would actually pull less. So I mean, the bigger the thruster is, the less power it actually pulls. We've got eight batteries, which is really good. I may try to slip a, another one of these in here. On the side, I might just slip like four of them in. Upward thrust is not that big of a deal. Like, really, I don't need those. 
because they, those are just maneuvering thrusters anyway. They're not meant to stop the ship or anything like the side thrusters are meant to stop something. And uh, let's see if I can take our handy dandy little corridor block here. Logic that down. And we're going to try and logic this one down too on the side. Hey, hey, look at that. All right, now we're getting somewhere. So now, if I can do some scanning on this. Now, Now the way this claw is going to work is I'm going to line this area with merge blocks. I haven't messed with them too much. So that is, that is going to be an interesting one. Okay, where's the... Okay, I already got to get on. All right. So I think I can get a block in between these. And then I'm just going to have offset blocks going back and forth. Uh, so this thing, when it grabs hold, doesn't matter which direction it grabs hold of from it is going to have the ability to just grab it and go. And then I'm going to add two more of these. I really wish we had a, a steeper slope, like something that took three. And then I may put some lights out here on the front. It's not entirely a Millennium Falcon style ship. It is just going to have that Millennium Falcon look it's got that big claw and I may redesign this a bit more yeah let's see if I can make this look a little cooler let's go one sharp angle here two sharp angles Yeah, what y'all think is better? That big claw right there like that, or, uh, let's see, uh, number one or number two? Which one do y'all think would be number one, number two? One again, two again. One, one more time, two, two more times. Um, <clears throat> I don't know which one I'm probably going to go with. I do like number two, but I like number one having that one sleek claw look. <sighs> Either way... I can put some lights on the front of this thing. Let's see, did I have lights unlocked? I don't have lights on the toolbar. So let's go ahead and put some lights on here while I figure out which one of those I actually like. see where's the light I need oh thank you 
I think I am going to go with uh, this one claw design because I could actually just pull this away. And I could throw a searchlight in. And with that claw design, I can do that pretty dang easily. Whoops. No, not like that. Uh, spin you like so and then go here I actually may modify this and put this at a steeper angle just to bulk it a bit more oh yeah I like that and then we'll do this with the other side so we got some nice spotlights looking all over the place on either side I'm gonna make them yellow so they kind of stand out more and then, like I said, this claw, I still got to build the cargo thing that this thing is going to be grabbing onto. So that'll work. And it, it moves pretty good for a asymmetrical monstrosity. So we got the, the lights in the front. I may change those at some point. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not satisfied with them. But... It's got a decent roll. You got a good pitch. And with just the maneuvering thrusters, it's got a pretty good acceleration. And these are just maneuvering thrusters. We've got that main thruster in the back that we can kill all these other thrusters. If we got to go from point A to point B, we can just kill all the thrusters on this thing. Hit it, and the main thruster will kick on. In fact, let me try and do that right now. So let's turn on the large ion warfare. And we'll take all the sci-fi thrusters here and turn them off. Okay, what the heck? I thought I turned that joker back on. Turn him back on. And then we got this main push thruster. For just primary pushing thrust. And then I've got six small sci-fi thrusters Let me grab those here that can slow things down we also got this giant jump drive on here so I can latch it in we've got plenty of storage so you can do small missions with this I don't know how this thing is gonna work in atmosphere I've got 10 of those on there. I'm just hoping that's enough. And I also added more um, added more stuff to it so it would fly better. I'll have to see how it flies in atmosphere. But we'll have to finish up the rest of it. Skin it. Make it all look good. And I think I'm going to armor plate most of this top section here. Because that's all this is. It's just a big claw for grabbing things with. That's all it's supposed to do. It's not supposed to do anything fancy. But yeah, so you take this thing in. You lock it into a, another ship. Or pull it into, like, the one deal. And then just turn it on. And uh, the merge blocks will activate. And I'll have something set in there that will offset with the merge block. So to give you an idea of how that's going to look on the actual ship that's going to be latching into the merge blocks are going to be situated like that. So when it comes in, it's going to have an easy, in, no matter which direction it comes in at, it's going to be able to grab hold of it and latch on and merge to it. So then once that happens, uh, a player will still be able to come in, mess around with stuff inside of here. I really wish I could put a Willis duck in here to fix a lot of this stuff up 
and make it work better, but that's that's just I just don't have the room for it. Would be nice. Uh, and we got some maneuvering thrusters. We've got sections here for two gun turrets. You could also probably use this thing for pushing um, and maneuvering platforms. So like, not only could you move something like this, you could move like a refinery with a couple of small cargo, with a couple of small, like a two or three cargo containers and maybe a like a small base or something. You just move it to an asteroid and then set up position and start mining with it. And then this thing can fly off and go do whatever. It's like multi-purpose little mini ship and it'll have all the firepower to get the job done. So I guess the next thing I gotta do is one, go in and fix this ship up, which let me walk over here and we'll just drop right into it. Let me just take a look through it here. We can access all of our cargo from this industrial assembler. So that works. We've got a refinery here for refining some very basic materials, steel plates, stuff like that. We have bathroom shower combo for all of this and two people. Um, mess area for cargo. You know how cargo works. It's awesome. And for some reason my phone just kicked out. Oh, do tell me. Are we still live streaming? Yeah, we're still live streaming. So my phone just kind of kicked out. <laughs> I can't see any comments right now. So we do that. We got air vents in the floor here and here. That'll help us get some stuff done. We got a tight little space going into our control area. Hop down. And I can affect batteries. That battery needs to be turned around. I don't know why it's turned that way. But we can go mess with the batteries. We got a control panel or a couple control blocks so we can put some stuff in. Plenty of storage, plenty of blocker storage and everything. We can work on just about everything inside of this ship. Just about. I just realized I need to put a different block in here. I need to put a T-junction right here. That has to be done. And that will probably be done next time because I am getting tired <coughs> and wife and kid are back and they want to play around with the TV a little bit. Yeah, we got that. We also got access to our gyroscopes. We can access those. We just lock them back up. And then uh, secondary port access. Which will take us to the main claw area which I will try to design some of these claw units that can, these units that can be clawed onto design them in such a way where the ship can just latch on and then you can move up into the ship and move around and check some stuff out on it but yeah I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to haul off and put probably plate a lot of this upper area because like I said it's not a combat ship it's going to have some guns to defend itself with and then we're going to have this offset um uh what is word we're gonna have this offset area on the side here with probably an airlock that will enable crew members to jump out and go do some fun stuff and we'll also have the cockpit over here which i'm probably gonna make that thing look as sleek as possible but yeah that's probably going to be the end of the stream, folks, because I am I am getting tired <laughs> and I need a break. You need those breaks every so on three hours straight. Yeah, hard, hard for a working person to keep doing that forever. But anyway, thank you all for watching. If you guys enjoyed this, please be sure to leave a like. Also, be sure to comment. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe. I always love having new subscribers and love having people talk to in the comment section. Uh, also, check out the 
description, I will be putting in there uh, all the places you can go either find information out about the channel or ways you can support. I've got a subscribe star. It's like $1 a month. You guys can jump on there and I'm right now I've got a top secret project that I'm working on that only people who are on the subscribe star know about right now because I'm putting up that and I'm putting updates on it and it's going to be something I work on in secret. So if y'all want to know, just a dollar a month and y'all can find out what's going on with the secret project and you can be ready when it comes out because it's it's not going to be something for me it's going to be something i put out for you guys and you will need some mods to work with it but it's going to be cool when i get done with, with the whole thing also um doing rumble so if you guys want to check this out or any videos that are over on rumble i am planning on putting videos over on rumble that i can't put over here youtube has i i I literally did a 4th of July stream celebrating the country, just doing some fun stuff. Or a fourth, not a 4th of July stream, just a 4th of July video. It's like 10 or 15 minutes, not even that long. And uh, YouTube flagged it because I used a song on there that they deemed uh, I they, they didn't like me using, basically. So you guys want to help out with that, go check out some videos over there. Hit me up with a couple likes, and uh, that's a pretty cool way of doing that. I'm also, uh, this is in the future, plan on getting kick. I've got to come up with a different streaming system than what I've got. This one doesn't allow multi-streaming. I don't want to stop streaming on YouTube, but Kick also will allow me to basically allow some monetization to come into the channel and allow me to do more stuff. If I have more money, I can do more stuff. Okay, that's going to be the fun part. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, stay safe, stay frosty. I'll see you guys next time probably next Friday and uh, see you guys uh, in the next video, probably Monday. Anyway, take care, have fun, love talking to you guys and uh, I'll see you next time.